Alan Jones in the Saudi Williams. Four wins last year, Leeds. The Ligiers are together with Piquet alongside them and Piquet challenges. He goes past Pironi, he's up alongside Lafitte. Jones leads, Lafitte is in second place. And Villeneuve just went off, Villeneuve had moved up to fifth place or thereabouts from his lowly, uh, relatively lowly grid position, made a great start but he's overcooked it, I'm afraid he started his, 90, his 1980 season very much as he left off. There it is on the replay, Villeneuve just on the left hand of the picture going up. Carlos Reutemann who wanted so much to do well in front of his home crowd out of the first race that he's driven in in the Saudi, Ale Saudi Leyland car. The battle for second position. PK Ooh, and, and Villeneuve. And Villeneuve, Villeneuve off. gone off. He's just made a little mistake at the, at the S uh, chicane there. Uh, but I don't think it's lost him any ground. He held the car nice and straight over the grass. But again, of course, he may have, he may have got a bit of grass in his radiators. Only time can tell. And they are all, especially Alan Jones, gaining on the race leader, Jacques Lafitte. This is the battle for third. It's Piquet and Villeneuve, Brabham and Ferrari. And Villeneuve goes off, uh, Piquet goes off, and Villeneuve gains on him. Now, he is going to be rattled, and yes, Villeneuve Piquet, goes through. No, Villeneuve's overdone it. Look, it's on the slippery bit. Piquet fought back. He forced Villeneuve to lock up. This is really too exciting for me. I can't handle this. Look at this. The flat 12 Ferrari of the young French-Canadian Gilles Villeneuve. The V8 Cosworth-powered car of Alan Jones. And Jones is gaining on Villeneuve. The Saudi Leyland car is quicker than the Ferrari. He's right with Villeneuve, who is behind Piquet. Yeah, Jones is getting the toe down the straight. He's going to pull out. And I reckon he's going to do Villeneuve now. But Villeneuve will fight for sure, because he's the last man to give up in the situation. Jones is through on the braking, and Villeneuve's having a go back at him. Jones but, did it though. But Jones holds the position. So Alan Jones upper place and now pulling away. Yes, well, Jones is uh, Villeneuve's return stab there, cost him a bit of time. Here we have it in replay. You'll see that uh, Jones gets through. Villeneuve makes a bit of a mess of it afterwards. It's cost him a bit of a gap, which gives Jones the cushions he needs. But Jones has wasted it. Look at the main picture. Jones has spun there. He got onto the marbles. And he's wasted it, which was a very stupid mistake, and most unlike Alan Jones, who's normally so steady. Yes, Villeneuve does have a serious tactical problem uh, for the race here. As I was saying before, he's very quick to... The oh, and Villeneuve's now made a mistake. Villeneuve's gone off at the S, and he's let Jones sit by, but I think he held it okay. Yes, he did. He's back on the track. That's how hard they're pressing each other. Villeneuve makes a mistake. Alan Jones benefits from it, and he's really rolling the car very gently round that twisty section there because that's where the track is breaking up there is alan jones in the lead that is the gap between alan jones the leader and villeneuve who is trying very very hard indeed as he comes up to the right hand bend here lies it up and he's off he's off villeneuve off is he all right well that looked to me Murray, as if it, it suggested something broke on the front of the car then because it, it, he never it, the car never appeared to make any attempt at all to turn right he went through the left hand bit of the corner when he went to turn right, he just went straight on, and that usually indicates a front-end failure. It didn't look like a mistake from Villeneuve. It was just too dead straight. That is an incredible picture there, because you see how strong modern Grand Prix cars are. Villeneuve whacked into the barrier, and he's we, all right. Yeah, we've got a replay here, Murray. Now, look at the front wheels and see. Let's see if anything happens. Yes, the front wheels splay out there, right? There's a definite front-end failure, probably the left-hand front suspension, because the, the both front wheels, you can see, just splayed out. Uh, and, and the car just went straight on with no steering. Villeneuve has had a reputation for crashing, but that was no fault of his. Obviously, some sort of suspension failure. Look at the front of the car as Villeneuve slowly gets out of it. Watch his knees come up now, out of the car. You've seen, and there's the damage. A very, very shattered Ferrari. And so that leaves Jody Schechter, the world champion in the race, as Alan Jones goes on his way.